I can do this. I can do this. I can do anything. If I can do this, I can do anything. <laughs> Let's get this show on the road, shall we? Good morning, fellow Huberman lovers. First thing Hubie, the Hubes, loves to do first thing in the morning, he drinks a cup of cold water with electrolytes. Now, I don't have electrolyte powder, so we're gonna have to go with this, the good old fashioned salt method, which is something I have never done in my life. When I read this online, I was like, you're kidding. We wake up first thing in the morning and we're greeted with salt water. So he said to use sea salt or pink salt. I also am not sure how much to put in. How much is too much? That looks like a lot. Chin chin. Oh dude, you're drinking cum powder? Oh! Yeah, dude! What the fuck? <sighs> oh, I feel energized AF. Huberman then says the most important thing he does in the day is he beelines outside. So here we are. He talks about the fact that the most important thing you have to do in the morning is beeline outside into sunlight and absorb it. Ideally through a walk. So today we're going to be going on a walk. Now I don't feel like I'm even awake yet. But it's cool. It's cool. Maybe the walk will energise us, right? Let's go. I watched his podcast he did with Chris Williamson, perhaps? I watched his podcast he did with him and he said, in the first few hours of the morning, get as much sunlight as humanly possible. Now, when you live in Scotland, that's kind of tricky, but we are blessed today. It's such a beautiful morning. So we are going out on a little walk, just us in nature, just us girlies in nature, with no phone, he says, no phone in the morning, no emails, no social media, no distractions, first thing in the morning, so. We're raw dogging it this morning. <laughs> I thought it would be lovely if we just went on a little walk to soak in our sunlight. He has this thing where it's like a forward, mo forward momentum. You just have to get moving first thing in the morning. Basically, what I was trying to say here is, <laughs> Huberman says that forward motion through a space generates optic flow and it is shown to reduce anxiety, have a calming effect on the brain. Science. Now, I don't know the science behind it, okay? But I'm sure there is a science behind it. If someone would like to enlighten me on that science, I would love to be schooled. Isn't that just absolutely beautiful? Maybe I should just stand here for 10 to 15 minutes and soak in my natural sunlight for the day. I can feel my dopamine releasing as I, as I stand here. I actually really do love going on walk first thing in the morning. That's the one perk of not living in a city right now. I feel like I can actually go out in nature. I think it's also good because like, especially if you walk on your own, you get to spend time with your thoughts. Whether that be a good thing or a bad thing, I'm gaslighting myself into believing it's a good thing. I actually do think that going for a walk first thing in the morning is so beneficial. I usually do it in my own morning routine when I'm not following cubes. So I think when and where you can, get your sexy ass outside and get some sunlight on your skin. I found this cute little spot with this big ass rock. So I was thinking we could take a little... Oh, right out my ass crack! <laughs> ah, oh. I think I literally just ripped my asshole. I was thinking we could take a nice little sit down and just take in the sunlight, but that was so... so... <sighs> okay, I think sunlight is sufficiently soaked. My butt's so sore. But it's rock. Okay, we are now back from our morning sunlight exposure, and it is. You may be thinking next. It must be breakfast time, right? Wrong. I could not believe this when I saw that Huberman does fasting. So basically, he pushes his first meal back as far as possible. So until around 11, I think, is when he has his first meal. And I. I actually couldn't believe it. He does work, works out before his first meal. So instead of eating, he has athletic greens, which is like a greens powder. But I am convinced that anyone that has athletic greens is sponsored by athletic greens because I have never seen anyone else have it. So we're gonna have the off brand. I think this is free salt, yeah. 21 ingredients, nutrient dense greens, fiber rich, food and plants, nothing else. Mmm. Five gram serving, okay. 
He also says he usually has this with lemon juice, but we also do not have any lemons, so I'm just gonna have to have it raw today. Oh my god. It smells like rabbit food. Mmm, okay, five grams. Okay, I'm just gonna mix this with water, I guess. It's not even combined, it's just floating there. Oh my god, okay. It tastes like animal food. Do you not think? Like the pellets. Anyway, we're gonna drink this and we're gonna go on to the next step of Huberman's morning routine. <sighs> okay, so for the next part of our morning routine, Huberman does 90 minutes of work. This is the worst. So we're gonna have to make ourselves useful and find something to do for 90 minutes. I do actually have a few things I've been putting off for a while, so maybe we'll do that. He likes to do one mentally challenging thing in the day and one physically challenging thing. And this is gonna be the mentally challenging thing. So I'm gonna find something productive to do for the next 90 minutes, drink my greens, and come back to you. <laughs> My belly, guys, my belly is bubbling. Things aren't going, it's not going well for me in this whole belly of mine, I'm feeling bad. I actually love doing that, just sitting for 90 minutes. I put my little timer on, just sitting and focusing on work. I actually got on a work flow, which was, Huberman says he likes to start something in the morning, but you don't have to finish that task. But I got a few things done, so I'm feeling, I feel good about myself. So that is our mentally challenging thing done for the morning. And now it's on to the next stage. So the next thing on the agenda is, <sighs> we're finally allowed something else in our system apart from water and green powder. It's time to caffeinate. <laughs> Hopefully that'll make me feel a little bit better because I'm, s guys, I can't believe how hungry I am. I'm not a faster. I'm, I just, it's hard out here. Anyway, so it's currently, Nine, and we're gonna have some caffeine. Huberman's favorite form of caffeine is yerba mate, which is like a tea, I think. And I think it's got slightly less caffeine in it than coffee. And we have that here today. This is Cruz de Malta, hot yerba mate. So we're gonna try and make this right now. Um, I've never made this before. Oh no. This is more difficult than I once anticipated. Pour hot water at a maximum temperature of 80 degrees Celsius. What? I really don't know about all that. Now I'm gonna have to figure out and try and figure out how to make this. I might need to call my brother and see if he can help me. Okay, I am back and I have knowledge. There's a specific way we have to make this so it doesn't burn, which is what I read on the packet and what I got really scared and confused and overwhelmed about. And then I just considered chucking the whole thing out and just being like, I'm just gonna have coffee because it's simple and easy and that's what I know. But no, we have to do this right, okay? We're figuring this out. First thing we need to do is put a few teaspoons of the leaves in the little leaf leave holder, leave strainer. Okay, so three teaspoons in here. Oh, <laughs> babes, it's all over the counter. Oh, babes. Two, three. Oh, that's beautiful. Right, three tea leaves. Teaspoon, teaspoon, teaspoon. Three teaspoons. I put the stuff that's all over the counter in the thing. Oh, now it's on the floor. <laughs> Great job! Okay, where did the lid go? Right, next step, we need to boil the kettle. Uh, if I had a brain, I would be so dangerous. So we should do probably like 300 or three, 400. And now we're gonna pour cold water in here until it reaches 80. Right, so we're currently at 80, 79. What? It's already at 676. 
Oh god. It says it's already at 70. Let's just do it. Send it. Okay, pour it in. Okay, definitely needs more water because that's not even touching it. How can I not do this? This seems like a simple task that I've been able to do everything else. Now we have to wait five minutes for that to brew. And in the meantime, I thought we could get ready for our next task. I like how it's a task, it's not really a task, it's just the next part of the morning routine. But I thought we could get ready for it mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually prepare for what we're gonna have to do next. So, as I said before, Huberman likes to do one mentally challenging thing a day and one physically challenging thing. Well, not a day, but like in the morning. And that physically challenging thing is working out. Now, today is my rest day, so I shall not be going in weight training. Huberman also likes to weight train. <laughs> He's my kind of man. Anyway, on his days off, he likes to do some form of cardio. And I... His choices were, he either does jump rope, or he goes for a run, or he does backwards hill walking. Which I thought was interesting, but apparently it strengthens your knees or something, which maybe I could get into because my knees, old, creaky resemble an old man's knees, but I think we're gonna go on a run. Yep. You heard it here first, folks. I'm going on a run. That is actually unheard of. I do not run. I can't remember the last time I went on a run. I don't even think I've got running shoes, so this is gonna be great. He says he likes to do about half an hour of cardio, so it's only half an hour run, and I'm thinking 15 minutes one direction, 15 minutes back. Do you know what, like, how hard can it be? So let's pick out an outfit. Let's pick out a running outfit, because I can't really run in this, can I? I mean, I totally could, but like, I'll be too hot. So let's pick out an outfit. Should we do shorts? It kind of looks cold. Let's do shorts. Maybe a gray moment. Shorts and sports bra. White. Oh, I've got a matching little gray number there. Oh, I don't think those colors actually go. No, they don't go. Oh, I have to pick different shorts. Doesn't really matter. No, I'm gonna try it on, I'm gonna see anyway. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. White gym shark sports bra and on active shorts. And I'm just trying to think. Can I run in this? I feel like this sports bra is notorious for boobs popping left, popping out left, right, and center. So I'm not sure if this is gonna hold the tatas in, but bearing in mind I actually don't have tatas, so I'd probably be fine. <sighs> What's a good running hairstyle? What's gonna not go everywhere? I feel like when you run, it's like the friction, not friction, the movement kind of like pulls your bobble down. So maybe we just start with a very high ponytail. Jeez. I'm channeling my inner Jojo Siwa. I'm giving myself a ridiculous receding hairline by the looks of it. That should do. I'm gonna get sweaty and this is gonna be gross anyway, so there's no point looking. Good. Do you know what I mean? I genuinely do not think I have got running trainers. I don't want to like bust the ankle or anything, so we're gonna need to see. Have a look, see. Okay, so it's been it's been ten minutes. This Yerba mate has been brewed for 10 minutes. So it's time to do a taste test and have a cup. I remember when I've had it before, it's kind of tasted like green tea-ish is kind of the vibe. It looks like pee. So this better give me some sort of energy, that's all I'm saying, because I'm absolutely starving. I don't know how people do this fasting malarkey. My belly, also, I don't know if it's from the greens powder, but my bowels aren't okay. My bowels are not doing okay. All sorts of bubbling and stuff going on in my guts right now, so that's great. Ooh. Oh, it doesn't really taste like much. Maybe I overdid the water. That's not bad. Mmm, that's delicious. Huberman likes to delay his caffeine intake until I think it's 90 to 120 minutes after waking. And I've been awake, I think, for about three hours now. Six, and it's now, I think it's about 20 past nine. Half past nine. See, I'm legally blind. So this is great. Still no breakfast in my system. So we're gonna have this, and then we're gonna go and do our run. It's gonna be really good fun. Feel good. So will my life come for a run with you? You all come for a run as well, ma'am. Guys, did you hear that? Huberman is a really positive influence on our family. So me and mum are gonna attempt to do a run. I'll catch in with you and I've done this and we're gonna see what, how we're gonna do this. I'm trying to find a pair of shoes. Guys, this is a mild disaster. I can only find these and these aren't mine. So I'm sure it's better than nothing, right? The only other thing I have is my Jordans and I cannot, I just cannot do that to myself. I can't run in Jordans. I think I would break my knees. And Also, I'm really sorry if you can see my leg hair right now. I'm sorry, I'm not sorry. I think these will do. They're also not my size. I think they're a five or a six. They're so big. This is a disaster. This is a recipe for disaster. Ugh, try and tie them really tight. Oh, Jesus. 
know what, it's as good as it's gonna get. It's only half an hour, right? That's what I'll be telling myself later on when I have to get dragged out in a stretch because I'm busting my kneecaps. I'm also not entirely sure where I'm gonna run and it also kind of looks like it's gonna rain. Yeah. But we're gonna get it done and we're gonna get it done as soon as humanly possible because I'm fucking, I'm starving. Absolutely starving. Don't know how you do it, Hubes. Honestly, intermittent fasting is not for me. Okay, sweet. Standing in it. Maybe we should do some warm ups. I feel like you do warm ups before you do a run, don't you? Oh god, I'm already out of breath. I've got to say I'm sufficiently warmed up, so I'm gonna to have to go on my run and then I'll catch him with you when I'm back. <laughs> Wish me luck. There's a hell. No. Halfway. Oh, I feel sick. No. No. I feel like I'm shit myself. Guys, I'm down absolutely horrendous. I'm back in bed. <laughs> so we just came back from the run and actually, surprisingly, went the full 30 minutes, kept my pace. The whole time I was like, just keep your pace, keep your pace, keep your pace, don't go too fast because then you're not gonna make 30 minutes. We didn't stop once, me and mum. It felt good and then crisis struck. Got probably like not even halfway through the run and I was like, oh my God, my my tummy started turning. Did not feel good at all. And then I kept going because I'm an absolute trooper and I was like, I cannot fail Huberman's morning routine. I cannot disappoint Huberman. And then I came home and literally shacked my insides out. I don't know if it was that greens powder or what, but that shit fucked my belly up so much. If you ever have a problem and you can't poop in the morning, have a drink of greens powder, go on a run and you will shit everything you've ever eaten out of your stomach. Anyway, I need to get changed out of these stinky clothes because I'm sweating. And then we can finally go and have breakfast, which I'm not even hungry for anymore after that. I put it inside. Ooh, my tummy hurt. Okay, let's get changed. Hey y'all, I'm back and I'm not feeling any better. I feel really bad. Uh, I literally can't think of anything worse than having to eat right now, but maybe that's like the whole point of running and taking greens in the morning so you can just keep fasting all day because you feel sick. To break his fast, Huberman said he has oats and fruit and a protein drink, so I'm gonna have protein oats. <laughs> See, when I saw he ate this, I was like, <laughs> thank you. Because I can't imagine having anything else apart from ye old faithful, so I'm gonna make my protein oats and then we can have some breakfast. Let's get this bad boy plated. Guys, guys, can you see that? Oh, she's so beautiful. She's just absolutely stunning. Okay, so we're having oats with protein powder in it and a little bit of dark chocolate. I mean, he never said he ate dark chocolate, but I've been through a lot today, we're eating dark chocolate and I have some fruit here, I have blueberries which I put in the air fryer, very good. Let's do a first initial reaction, I mean I already tried the oats but I'm so excited. Cheers. I feel like everything's okay again. Me and my wife are back together, she took the kids back, everything feels good. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna have to go eat this. See you for the next thing. Hey girl. Okay, so I had breakfast and honestly, I feel a better. I feel like a functioning human being. I feel like I have my energy back. I feel like me again. Huberman usually does like 90 minutes of work after he eats his breakfast. I don't really feel like doing work right now. So he also said, if you're procrastinating and if you feel like you can't do the work that you need to do, you need to do something harder than that work. So then that work feels just like easy to get into. So do you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do a cold shower. Which is something that Huberman says that he also does. I think he does a cold plunge, but we don't have one of those fancy tubs, so we're gonna have to do a shower. I used to have cold showers all the time, just not even for the fact that I was like, I take cold showers, but because my skin, we all know that I'm an eczema queen and it used to help so much. Like I never used to really get flare ups if I'd have a cold shower in comparison to a hot shower, but I've not done it in a really long time and now I'm gonna have to do it and I'm scared. I think he said he does around 15 to 20 seconds. I don't feel like that's right. I feel like he probably does a few minutes each time, but I have not done this in a long time. So we're just gonna see how long we can get. Okay. <gasps> I can do this. I can 
do this. I can do anything. If I can do this, I can do anything. <laughs> I have my bikini on because I did not think it would be entirely appropriate for me to just have my boobies on full display. I also probably shouldn't have done this straight after breakfast because she's looking a bit pregnant, isn't it? But we'll live. Okay, shall we time how long we can stay in here for? If I die, someone will make sure Huberman looks after the kids. Okay, right. I should probably put it on, right? I also don't want to get my hair wet. That's not mandatory, is it? Right, okay. Uh, it's not cold yet. Okay, it's cold. Oh no, it's getting cold. I just want to show you guys. It is actually on the coldest setting, so. I swear I'm not lying. I'm not even lying. I backed up too far, I felt it. Right, it's fine. It's cool, man. It's cool, man. It's cool, man. It's cool, man. Right, I need to put my stopwatch on. Right, remember to breathe. Right, okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Three, two, one. It's me again. So I don't want a single one of you to talk about how I was not under that fully. When I was in there, I was like, this is freezing. I am completely submersed in the cold. And now watching it back, I'm like, bitch. <laughs> My left titty was in there and that was it. But it was freezing, okay? You try standing in a cold shower for one minute. You probably can do it. You can probably do it longer than me, but you know what? I tried. I got love to try. It was difficult, okay? But that's all I want to say. I know I'm not fully under it. Please don't come for me. Please don't attack me. I am emotionally vulnerable. So, thank you. We did one minute. I'm not gonna say I did two minutes because that would be a lie. It was definitely one minute. Oh, I feel a bit sick. I need to collect me faults. It is currently 11.28 and Huberman's morning routine is complete. Thank you, thank you. I'd like to thank my mom, the academy. Guys, that has been the longest morning of my entire life. I was so productive. That is unbelievable. He does that every single day. Like what? I feel like I've, I've done the whole day now. I can just go to bed. That was unbelievable. Maybe it's a cold shower talking, but it's, I feel great. I'm not gonna lie to you, I do feel good. I feel good about myself, I've done so much already. Wow. I think the whole point of this morning routine is Huberman says that you take little bits that he does and then slot it into your own morning routine. I was just thinking, is there anything from this morning routine that I would take and put my own routine? The cold shower. Maybe that's it, I'm not having those greens, that greens ever again. Combination of having those greens and going for a run, my bowels will never be the same again. So we're not gonna do that. The whole thing about this morning routine is I think it's supposed to set you up for a successful day, getting quite a lot of the things you need to get done in the morning and then having time at night to like wind down and relax and do the things you actually want to do. Also, apparently it helps you sleep better. I thought it would be a good idea if I came back tomorrow morning and I tell you how I feel so then I can give you a proper in-depth review of this morning routine. But for now, I'm gonna go off and I'm gonna do a bit more work and hopefully stay productive for the rest of the day. Will that happen? We don't know, but I will inform you tomorrow morning and then I'll give you my final thoughts. <laughs> I know I said I was gonna up you date. No. I know I said I was gonna up you date. What? I know I said I was gonna update. Fucking hell. I know I said I was gonna update you all tomorrow morning, but I thought I'd actually update you tonight and let you know what I thought of the morning routine. I honestly feel so tired now. Like that sh that morning routine, I don't know what it was. Maybe it was just cause you like, forward momentum into the day and I already had did so much by like 12, I am pooped. That shit definitely sets you up to go to bed at a reasonable time. Like it's still bright outside and I'm going to bed. So I don't know about you, but I'm calling it a success. I'm so tired, I could not believe it. That run, honestly guys, that run took it out of me. <laughs> Never again in my life. I'm not a running girly. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> Will I be doing this routine again in its entirety? No. I'm not an intermittent faster. I'm not a faster. I'm not fasted. <laughs> Sorry. I just love breakfast too much. I'm not doing it. I'm just not gonna do it. You won't catch me doing it. The one habit that I'm definitely gonna keep going with. 
spending the first part of your morning in direct sunlight i just feel like it does just set you up for the day and your core is all just like especially when you're like me and you're like a stressed out bitch like doing something like that just really helps you out cubes is your morning routine approved by me i would recommend you try it and then take from it what works for you and then do you know what i mean but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video today even though i complained the entire time pov you watching me complain for like 20 minutes <laughs> let me know what else you guys want to see i love you i will see you in the next one okay good night <laughs>